Hello again, everybody. I'm back with another book review. I guess if you want to call it, I do reviewing. Yes, it meets the bare minimum qualifications for a review. This episode of Gas Mask Reader, I'm going to talk about Boy's Life. Not the magazine. I think there's a magazine. Isn't that like the Boy Scouts magazine called Boy's Life or something? I forget. But anyway, whether it is or not, I'm talking about Boy's Life by Robert R. McCammon. It's a coming-of-age story, basically. And it's also a mystery. It, you know, basically the story begins with the young boy being woken up by his father, who is a milkman, because he's coming along to, to help his father out on his run this time. So, you know, and that already tells you one thing, is that this is a, obviously set fairly far back in the past, since there haven't been milkmen in the United States for, what, like 40, 50 years now, something like that. I forget. I don't know exactly when they finally went away, but this story is set in, I think, in the late 60s, which is actually way later than I thought they were still around here. I mean, I know they stuck around in the UK longer, but here in the U.S., they went bye-bye way before I was even born. Anyways, the father and son are off on their milkman run. They see a car plunging into a lake, and the father basically pulls over, jumps in the lake to try and see if he can save the driver and discovers that the driver is stripped naked and has been beaten to a pulp, strangled, and handcuffed to the steering wheel of the car. And, you know, after that, they, then they basically, you know, most of the rest of the book is actually not about trying to figure out who the murderer is because there's so much other stuff going on in the book, but that is generally the overall storyline since that's how it begins is with that and how it ends is with solving the murder. But there's a heck of a lot of other stuff going on in the middle. I mean, you got a voodoo priestess who actually has magical powers. There's a dinosaur. There's an encounter with what is fairly obviously Dracula, Frankenstein, and the mummy. There's, what else was in there? There was other weird stuff. Oh, yeah, there was a ghost car. And I know there was at least one other thing, but now my mind is blank. Let me look at my notes. Oh, yes, that's right. There was the gunfighter who apparently had saved Wyatt Earp at the OK Corral and when he was a child and went on to become a Wild West gunfighter who actually shows up at one point in this. And, you know, besides all the weird stuff, there's also a lot of other stuff you'd expect for a story set in this area. Is it in place? Is it set in Alabama, in the United States, in the 60s? So, you know, of course there's racial tension and racial issues. And, and there was also some crime fighting going on with moonshiners and... And there's lots of stuff, of course, being about kids, there's, you know, stuff setting in school, and and since the author wants to be a writer, there's a good bit about writing. And, you know, generally about the changing of the times, like, you know, like I mentioned, this was at the time when milkmen were going the way of the dinosaurs, only, not really, because there's, you know, still a dinosaur around in this book. And, and you know, a supermarket pops up at one point, and... That pretty much spells the end of the milkman in the town. Yes, I mean, there's all kinds of weird stuff in this book, and it's a pretty good story. And I'm going to now follow my usual procedure of giving you a quick reading from the first chapter. Glory, wake up, son. It's time. I let him pull me up from the dark cavern of sleep, and I opened my eyes and looked up at him. He was already dressed in his dark brown uniform with his name, Tom, written in white letters across his breast pocket. I smelled bacon and eggs, and the radio was playing softly in the kitchen. A pan rattled and glasses clinked. Mom was at work in her element as surely as a trout rides a current. It's time, 
my father said, and he switched on the lamp beside my bed and left me squinting with the last images of a dream fading in my brain. The sun wasn't up yet. It was mid-March, and a chill wind blew through, blew through the trees beyond my window. I could feel the wind by putting my hand against the glass. Mom, realizing that I was awake when Dad went in for his cup of coffee, turned the radio up a little louder to catch the weather report. Spring had sprung a couple of days before, but this year winter had sharp teeth and nails, and he clung to the south like a white cat. We hadn't had snow. We never had snow. But the wind chill, but the wind was chill, and it blew hard from the lungs of the pole. Yeah, I gotta say, McCann is a really good writer. I mean, I really like this book. I think this book is one of the things that could probably take a place in one of my top ten favorite books of all time list if I was making a list. So definitely one of my favorite coming-of-age stories. I mean, there are quite a few good ones, and I've read quite a lot. And I've got to say, I really like this one the best of all the ones I've read. Even if it is a lot weirder than a lot of the others. And that's coming from somebody who's read Stephen King's It about a bunch of kids who battle an evil clown, and Brian Keene's School about a bunch of kids who battle a ghoul. And yeah, there's a lot of coming of age stories about kids bat don't get involved in weird stuff, but this one is weirder than any of the ones I've read. I'm sure there are ones weirder than this, and I don't care really. I just really like this one. I think it's a really great book and something that anybody with an interest in reading good fiction should read. So I'm going to give it my full five gas masks. And that's all I have to say for now. I'll hopefully be back soon with another book review whenever I finish reading one of the books that I'm reading. Until then, goodbye. If you like this video, please click subscribe or watch some of my older videos. If you think the book I reviewed sounds interesting, buy a copy. There are always links to the Amazon store in the description for this book and any other books I mentioned. If you have any suggestions on other books I could read or any other comments, queries, insults, or anything else you want to say, please feel free to mention it in the comments section.